Hi, my name is Nick Robinson with NickArts.com. Welcome to Watch Mojo. I'm here today for another episode of Healthy Cooking, and I have a very special guest with me, Anthony Shami from Kepri Expeditions, who's taking us to Peru to learn how to make some authentic uh, cuisine. Anthony, can you tell us a little bit about why we're going to Peru today and what you do with Kepri? Yeah, we like to organize ecotourism trips where you get to participate in the activities. So uh, we're going to be cooking ceviche because very often on our trips we'll do cooking workshops and it's a perfect way to meet the local population and learn something about the local tradition. So Anthony, what are the ingredients that go into this particular Peruvian dish? Well for the ceviche the main ingredient is the white fish. So you can use any white fish that you like. We chose some red snapper and it's important to ask your fishmonger to have sushi grade quality fish when you're making your ceviche. Even though it'll cook in the lemon juice it's really important that you have good quality fish. Absolutely. What else? We also have some lemon. One red pepper. This is a cubanita. Is cubanita. It? So there's different if you really like spicy, but this is not supposed to be a, a, a spicy dish. It's just to give it a little bit of taste. Of course, salt and pepper. We have some celery. We're just going to be using a little bit of celery. We have some parsley, red onion, some chives, some garlic. So we're going to chop everything up. We're going to put it in a bowl. The lemon is going to cook the rest of the ingredients. And in five minutes, it's going to be ready. Those are my favorite kind of recipes. So now that we've cubed the fish, mm -hmm. it's time for the second ingredient, which is the lime juice. Right. Now, I'm going to cut the limes, but Anthony's really particular about how to squeeze the limes. Well, that's only because uh, Peruvian experts that are making ceviche are, are always mentioning how you have to watch out and not to get too much of the skin because of the bitterness of the skin in the lemon juice. So I'm going to use a fork to make it easier. And as soon as I see that you know the juice is starting to get a little bit dry in there, I'm not going to force it too much. And that should be good. You do want to get a lot of lime juice, so if you have tiny little limes, you maybe more. you need more. I had two fillets of red snapper, so that's about enough for four people. And so we're doing about, I'd say, one lemon per portion. Or lime. Peruvians use lime in their recipe Absolutely. as opposed to lemon. Yes. So now that we've done squeezing the limes, we're going to chop our cubanita. Right. But we're not going to use a lot of this, right? Because no. it's going to give us a lot of heat. Yeah, so depending on your pepper, if it's if it's really hot, you don't want to use all of it, definitely. So what's interesting about using hot peppers in cooking is that, it, did you know, it's one of the only thermoactive ingredients that actually boosts your metabolism. Did you know that for people that have digestive issues, if there are results of bad bacteria in the digestive tract, eating hot peppers will actually help kill bad bacteria in your digestive tract, and it's actually good for people who have issues with digestion. How much red onion do we need for this recipe? You have a lot of fish there, so we have a lot of onion. So about the same same proportion, I'd say, at least. Okay, so for this recipe, we want to make sure that we're chopping the onion super thin. Yep, as thin as possible. Paper thin. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of onion, but it's not as if it's a recipe for people that eat onions raw or anything like that. You won't taste it. It's though. mild. It's yeah. mild because of the way it's cooked in the lime juice. So why did you add some long onions to my nicely chopped onions? Because it's ceviche, you need long onions, you can't chop them up too small. So some of them are chopped up small, but you know, Peruvian ceviche, you want long pieces of onions in there. Alright, all right. I'll, I'll give you that for the texture, it'll be nice, but mm. let's just chop up the rest of the ingredients and get going. That's fine. You want to have everything ready, chopped up, so that once your guests are over, you can then focus on them, and then when you're ready to eat, you can just put it together, five minutes of cooking in the lime, and then you can eat it. You did mention that it's important that we put the salt in before the lime yeah. to prepare the fish. Yeah, let's get the salt on the fish first. That's the important order, and then everything else we can add as we go. All right, let's do that.
So it's really important that we put in each ingredient one at a time and stir it in one at a time to make sure that the lime juice gets everywhere. Yeah, you want to make sure it's all mixed in and the lime is cooking everything. So now that the lime juice has saturated everything, the next step is to let it sit for five full minutes before we eat it. Yeah, so this is actually cooking right now. So we're gonna let it sit five minutes and then we'll be able to devour. So our ceviche is now ready to eat. It only took a couple of minutes, five minutes of cooking time and just a couple of minutes of assembly time. Yep. But Anthony, um, why do you have a glass there? Oh, well, this is leche de tigre. So it's like tiger's milk, they call it. It's a free shooter you get from making ceviche and it's supposed to be a very potent shot of this whole mixture here. With many health benefits that I'm gonna let you enjoy, Anthony. Thank you very much. Bottoms up. That's good stuff. <laughs> well, thank you for watching watchmojo.com. Join us again next time for more cooking recipes that'll keep you healthy and feeling like a tiger.